Patrolling the streets of Abidjan, the country's financial hub and seat of power is now the front line in the battle for Côte d'Ivoire. Lauren Bagbo's soldiers are on alert. As troops loyal to his rival Alassane Ouattara gather on the road leading to the city, preparing for a final showdown. Supporters of the internationally recognized president are confident Bagbo's days in power are numbered. It's over. We will install Ouattara. State television has aired images of the incumbent president meeting his senior army officers for talks in Abidjan on Sunday. Fighting is said to be centered around the key institutions of influence, the presidential palace, military bases and the state TV building. French troops now control Abidjan's main airport and UN helicopters patrolled the skies over this combat zone. The US and France are not entitled to decide on who is able to determine the destiny of Côte d'Ivoire. All these contribute to adding fuel to the fire. The US and France have only contributed towards worsening the tensions. Already a million civilians are estimated to have fled the violence now in its fifth month. Residents of Abidjan are living and working in fear. Electricity has been cut off intermittently and people are running out of food and water. Ouattara's forces have already taken control of most of the country, but that has come at a price. The UN is investigating claims of mass killings last week in the west of the country, blaming both camps. With both Ouattara and Bagbo refusing to give up, many more people could die before this disputed election battle is finally resolved. Nasnan Sadri, Al Jazeera.